Greetings, Brad from Warren Motorsports here, and it's a little late in the afternoon, but I kept thinking that I needed to go get my backhoe from our helper person that helps us with heavy equipment repair. So I'm on my way now to see if I can go pick it up. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to. I think this uh, shop has some lights where I can see what I'm doing when I'm loading my machine up. Uh, if not, then, you know, I'll uh, regroup and go for it a different time. So, I uh, think the uh, trailer there is ready to go. It's just a matter of whether we can actually pick this machine up this late in the afternoon.
Well, I did make it back to the shop all in one piece. I didn't get any other footage after I loaded the machine on the trailer. It was starting to get a little bit too dark to film uh, where you couldn't really see good. And also, I kind of had my hands full in getting this back safely and sound. It was a little bit on the nervous side. Uh, this is the first time that I've moved uh, this much weight since I've got my truck out of the shop. And then uh, my heavy equipment mechanic told me about one possible issue with the parking brake on my machine. I know you used to, before everything went array, I used to be able to engage the parking brake and I could actually probably slowly move the truck and trailer with the machine on with no chains and it probably wouldn't move. But I didn't so much as trust it because I just got it back. So of course, uh, I got everything all binded down and chained properly uh, to make sure that didn't have any problems. But again, I was a little bit on the nervous side. Just wanted to make sure that I got everything back and safe and sound, one piece, uh, no, no issues or anything like that. My safety record for pulling uh, heavy stuff has been really good. Uh, knock on wood, I haven't lost anything. Nothing's fallen off, nothing's turned over. So I wanna keep it that way. Uh, and one little safety tip on these trailers, or if you have a trailer that has tandem axles with dual wheels, always make sure to check your air pressure. Uh, I found this out a while back, probably a little over a year ago. If, the, if you have a tire, the outside, inside, either one, that has uh, too little air pressure in it, it will overheat and it will more than likely separate, just blow apart. I was in the middle of nowhere about a year ago. Uh, didn't have any access to air. I didn't have any kind of uh, portable air system with me to uh, put air in it. I checked my air pressure, had about 45, between 45 and 50 PSI in one tire, and it made it about 15 miles before I started seeing rubber chunk out the sides of the trailer and I had to like really slow down and that that was going no faster than 60 because I don't go very fast when I'm pulling a lot of weight I try to keep it uh try to keep it safe but uh yeah got my machine back thank goodness as I was saying in another video what exactly happened to this machine was uh the rear end tore apart like the ring gear became separated from the third member and in fact i'll put some pictures up right here just kind of show you like what we were dealing with um basically had to rebuild the rear end completely had some damage to uh, a couple of spider gears a couple of the shims bearings had some damage but we got it all back together now so uh, we got some work to do and for the time being though I need to see if I can unload this off the trailer and uh, get everything reconfigured, resituated before we go do our next job. So uh, if you like what we do on the channel, make sure you give a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe and uh, we'll hopefully you'll be able to see us in our another video. And thanks for watching and thanks to my new subscribers. Later guys.